Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion Noob Builds. This is where I give the noobs kind of a build for a race that they want to play as, because let's be honest, the races in Oblivion, they all look different. And having a nice looking character is also nice, and I don't even know what I was going to say. I was going to say about function and use, and having a cool character that does a lot of stuff is cool. That's what I was going to say, let's get into this. So now that the plane is gone, you're gonna use this Dark Elf. It's, dark Elves are very weird characters. I'm gonna say this right off the bat. They're very strange. So for your sign, you're gonna pick the Warrior. Very combat focused. Then, you're gonna also use Strength and Endurance, but your, your specializations are gonna be Stealth. Okay? A warrior, Strength, Endurance. All like combat and health. And then Stealth. Normally, when you make a character, you pick seven skills. For this one, I'm just gonna give you four skills that you should pick, and the other three, you can pick whatever you want. I encourage experimentation, so if there's skills that you haven't experimented with, go for it. But for the four kind of major skills that I like with the Dark Elf, I use Blade, Destruction, Light Armor, and Sneak. And I'll tell you why. Dark Elves are kind of like stealth mages in a way. They're kind of like, if you could take a bandit, right, and take all the skills that the three classes of bandits have, which is the hedge wizards, the normal bandits, and the, um, even the archers to an extent. Maybe not so much the archers. That's kind of what a dark elf is. So the way that you're going to use this character is you're going to be sneaking around a lot. You're going to have basically an assassin character. And you're going to be using your sword a lot for melee combat. However... You have destruction for a couple reasons. The first one is it adds range. It, you, know, you can't throw a sword, but you can throw a fireball. And the other one is in case you run out of stamina, you can use destruction to do melee combat. If you have an enemy that just keeps blocking you and is super high resistance to normal weapons, you can use destruction to kind of make it so you don't get hurt so much. Now you do have light armor on, which my favorite playstyle with light armor is to actually move in and out when you attack. So be very, like, like if there's a guy with a sword and he goes in for a power attack, I don't block it. I try to dodge it and then go in. So since you're using a sword, it can be a good idea. This plane's flying around out here. But <laughs> it can be a good idea to actually carry a claymore. And so you have even more range over everyone other than those that use a claymore. Now remember, with a claymore, you don't get a sneak attack bonus. So better to carry like a longsword or a dagger. I usually do a longsword even though daggers get more of a sneak bonus. So that's kind of how you're going to play this character. Sneaking around a lot. Don't use magic when you sneak because it doesn't give you bonuses. But you can like stab someone, run away and start casting fireballs or something like that. Really, that ghost spell you get, the ancestral ghost, is really powerful in the beginning. That's amazing power in the beginning because everything might go after it or nothing will go after it and you can just run around while it kills everything. So let me know what you guys think about this build in the comments below. If you're a noob to this game this might demystify the Dark Elf a little bit because I know Oblivion sucks at explaining to you what these classes actually do, what the races actually do. I mean they say like high resistance to magic and high magic but like they don't go into more detail with these characters and I feel like if they would do that maybe there's just a page it would be better but I don't know. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam It post of whatever I decide to make.